are working from home or doing school from home, which I know many of us are now familiar with, or, or even still doing. I think just having a surface to do work at makes a huge difference. But if we wanna take it a step further and make our desks a little bit more enjoyable to operate in, then there are those few touches that can make a difference. And today I'm gonna to share some of mine, the ones that I really value in my space, my quote unquote desk essentials. If you're new to the channel, may I suggest you subscribe? I do lots of videos about life in Toronto, productivity, planning, stationery, home organizing, books, you know, the list goes on self-care. You don't want to miss all of it. So the best way to ensure that you don't is by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. With that being said, let's get started on dissecting my desk. Woo. I'm unsure why I did that. I didn't think that went through. I do have to be here for this first segment. My actual desk is from Ikea. I will have it linked in the description box below. I really love it. It's a huge workspace for me. The Alex drawers on either side also give me access to so much storage that I really do need. As much as I love the desk though, I really want to talk about this office chair, which I know it's not the sexiest first topic to, to kick today's video off with, but I think it's going to be the most important desk essential I discuss because I I know, I know firsthand the experience of having an office chair that is just not doing anything for you. This office chair was sent to me by Ikea for a collaboration I did with them on Instagram. This video though is not sponsored by them nor by anyone, uh, but just wanted to put that disclosure out there. But my previous experience with an office chair was when I first moved into this apartment five years ago, I think this is something that probably a lot of younger people like myself can kind of fall in the trap and fall into the trap with fall can fall into this trap there we go is when you move into a place and you're having to buy all this furniture you try and look for areas to to kind of save costs and I looked at my office chair as an opportunity to do that so I think the office chair I had was like something like thirty dollars it just was basically a back a bottom very stiff and I was like that that'll do the job that's fine I failed to though really realize that th this is a chair that I spend my work days in Monday to Friday sometimes on the weekend uh, nine to five usually longer I sit in this chair at this desk doing work and when you're spending so much time on a chair you want to make sure that chair gives you some sort of support and that chair gave me nothing so i would say do not be quick to cut costs on this purchase not to say that you have to spend a ton a ton of money but i think there are some things to look out for that make a chair a lot more comfortable like a i have armrests so it just means that my my arms are supported i've got a backrest with a nice little neck pillow there's a cushion on my lower back to kind of support that so when i'm sitting back it's not it doesn't get sore like i used to i can adjust things like the the height i can make sure i'm perfectly ergonomically at at the position for my desk you know oh this needs to go up a little bit more oh no there we go. <laughs> so to the left of my desk here, I have a coaster with a glass of water, which is usually also housing a coffee mug. Coaster is very important. One of my creme de la creme desk pieces is this acrylic stand that houses all of my pens. This acrylic stand is from Muji. I just love the fact that it's clear. It has plenty of room to hold a lot of stationery but it doesn't feel super cluttered either because it's it's acrylic it kind of just disappears into the desk there i think everyone needs a solid black pen and these ones from muji the gel ink capped pens have been one of my favorite for years i love the 0.38 and the 0.5 for an everyday writing pen i also love the sharpie s gel this is so quick drying if you are left-handed this is going to be the one you want because it's just immediate how quickly it dries after you write with it and very smooth let's make our way to the top here for years at this desk, I had in place of this pegboard corkboard tiles, and I really do recommend those as a great option for those of you who are in dorms or in places where you don't want to put nails in the wall because they're easy to put up with command strip. But this pegboard system 
has a lot more versatility than the cork tiles. As you can see, beyond just being able to put papers, I can also store containers that have washi tape, binder clips. I've got a pen cup with my Archer and Olive acrylograph markers. I use these all the time in my bullet journal. And don't forget, if you use the code Caitlin's Corner, you can get 10% off your Archer and Olive orders. I've also got scissors and blue light glasses, post-it notes, masking tape, so many things, my goodness. And it just looks really fun and office-y. So it's like decor slash functionality, which I really appreciate. And then obviously I can always rearrange these whenever I want so I can ensure that it's always a place that is, is working for me. So if I don't really want as much stuff on there and I just want it to be more of a notice board, it's really easy to make that shift. I also have these photo ledges that you've seen plenty of times with photos. I don't feel like this is as much of an, uh, of an essential. This is just something that makes the space for me a lot more pleasing to be in, but this has a lot of purpose. When you're doing later night work sessions, having good lighting is obviously very beneficial. And I want to highlight my lighting here. Not to talk about the lamp itself, but you may have noticed that I have color changing light bulbs. These kinds of light bulbs just give you a lot of options to play around with. Even if you don't want to go colored, you can just even affect the the coolness or the warmness of your white lights. I do my fair share of late night work sessions, so this is fun to kind of create ambiance in the room and make it a little bit more enjoyable. I've made my way down to desk level to talk about this guy right here, which is my fancy version of a mouse pad. If you've got a mouse, whether you have a desktop or you use a wireless one for your laptop, whatever it is, obviously having some sort of soft surface to mouse on, to mouse on, yeah, mouse on, is much easier than just going directly on the desk. Also, this can scratch. Now, you can buy large mouse pads. My brother has has a very large mouse pad and he really enjoys it. But I find that using a placemat is a great alternative because it just warms up the space a bit. You can change them up with the season, make them a little decorative. I love this one on my desk right now. It's this brown fabric that really ties in nicely with the pegboards. But I also have like this blue one that has fringes and this one that's also blue. I have plaid ones for Christmas. This is more of like a spill proof option because it's not fabric. It's whatever this rubbery plastic material. So you can just get a lot of different looks with something simple. It's a thumbs up for me. I gotta say, the two monitor setup is really something I've grown to love. I don't have my monitors connected. I just have two different computers. But if you have two monitors hooked up to one computing system, I think it's just such an efficient way to do work. And I feel like anyone who goes dual monitor never never goes back. But the thing I really wanna focus on when it comes to my monitor setup right now is my laptop tilt. As you can see, having a tilt just kinda of gives you that extra little elevation so you're not craning your neck. And I do a lot of editing on this laptop, all of my editing on this laptop. So um, this piece really just aids in me not having uh, neck problems. So next to the office chair, this guy is like right Right up there with being important because it's just it's saving me from being a granny in my 20s on the right side of my desk is usually where I store my my planner my bullet journal this is my bullet journal Luma for those of you who watch my bullet journal videos you are very familiar with her I use this for all my to-do lists for the day planning out healthy habits and meals and it's just my little life companion I'll have to do a whole video though on all of the organizational tools I use beyond just a bullet journal to keep my life together. I also have this larger notebook right here and this is what I've been using as of late to do just a lot of like brainstorming rough outline work for videos. It's nice because it's a larger space to work with so you can really just go crazy. They're both from Archer and Olive and again they will be linked down below. But let me just say what a sexy color combo. I know we live in the digital age so a lot of us are using virtual storage options including myself like iCloud and Google Drive but I still think there's something to be said about having a physical hard drive containing all of your most important documents. I would go as far as to say as having like two places where that lives whether it's two hard drives or a hard drive and an iCloud type of drive like something like that. Double backups are where it's at. So this hard drive that I have on my desk is a Seagate hard drive. I think it's a six or eight terabyte 
option and I'm actually considering getting a second one to go right beside it. These are hard drives that are designed not to move around with you. They're supposed to stay in one spot so it makes them a great option for a desk. I keep things like raw footage from my videos on it, important documents. I also have a solid state drive from Samsung that I use for more of my projects that are on the go. Both these things just make my life as a content creator run a lot more smoothly but I think in general, if you are working from home or you're a student who's constantly writing essays and assignments, it's always a good idea to have backups of your work just in case something were to happen. As a student, I didn't do this enough and I wish I could go back and tell myself to back up more of my assignments, especially like the heavyweight assignments because I know there were times where the file existed only on my laptop and if something were to happen to my laptop the week that something was due, I would have been in a super bad spot. Again, I know we live in the virtual world, so the amount of times that we probably have to print something is a lot less than it was, say, 10 years ago. But I still find that the need to print something comes up. And during those times, I'm really thankful that I have an all-in-one printer that can not only print things when I need it to, but also scan it. I think it can also fax, but I have never <laughs> used that feature. I recently upgraded to an HP Envy printer and I really like how it handles artwork or color for things like stickers or photos. So happy with that. But what I really love is the fact that I'm subscribed to the HP Ink service. So basically my printer is talking to HP and it's constantly telling it where my ink levels are so that it knows when I'm about to run out of ink and then when when that happens HP just sends me new ink and I never have to think about buying ink ever again so if you're in the market for a new printer and you're trying to weigh the pros and cons of all of them like take note of that as something to look into I don't know if this is too awkward of an angle, but we're just gonna go with it. One of the things that I paid attention to when laying out the drawers in my desk is making sure that the top drawer of both the left and right side have things that I'm gonna use all the time, because obviously that's gonna be the place where I have the most easy access to. The things I wanna know on the left side is one, having headphones. I also have a pair of noise canceling headphones if I'm uh, planning on working off location, because now that I live alone, I don't really need the noise canceling as much. Unless construction is happening, uh, I take that back. That that happens, so they do come in handy. But more often than not, I'm using my earbuds for Zoom meetings or Microsoft Team meetings, whatever it is I'm I'm at, so that there's not that echoing thing going on. The other important thing that I use a lot is a compact mirror because again. Zoom meetings, Microsoft team meetings, whatever it is, virtual meetings, you wanna be able to check quickly, oh, do I have something in my teeth? No, we are good. This is a compact by Beauty Blender and it has like that extra step of a little blotting uh, sponge that all the oil on my face can be absorbed. I'm an oily gal, so this gets used a lot. I guess a calculator. I use often too. I know like we have calculators on our phone, but I am that person that loves the sound of a click clack calculator. It feels like I've got more of my shit together, I don't know. It's not logical, I never said it was. I think the most important thing I would know on the right side here is this little pouch containing a microfiber cloth. I've actually got two of them in here, but I use this all the time to clean my dirty, dirty electronic screens. I don't think I can I can classify any of these other things as necessarily essential. Imagine if I was like, you must need citrus shaped erasers or you're just not going to be successful at life the one thing that i didn't mention here in this video that i don't own but i need to own is a paper shredder i've just gotten in the habit of ripping up important documents that i don't want people to steal information from but i think a paper shredder is just extra good at making sure everything's concealed so i really need to get on that i think i could slip one in right under there. Oh, and also, I need to clean up the cord management, but having a little cord tray there makes this look all clean. I mean, it's a disaster under there. Let's not let's not dwell. I'm curious to turn the question back to you and see what your number one desk essential is. Let me know, let us know in the comments. Tell me what you guys think about this. I think I'm gonna swap out this floor protector for a carpet that covers the whole room just to make it a little bit cozier. I'm not saying it's gonna happen anytime soon, but like I'm, I'm kind of in the headspace of doing that. What are our thoughts? Do we think that's the move? I think it'll look a lot less whatever this is. This isn't the most adorable thing I've ever done, but. I have to protect the floor somehow. I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye everyone.